Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the budget year over year example. And as you see, this has the sales for 2015 and the budget for 2016. And we expect a budget increase of 5% in 2016. So uh, I'm going to do a calculation. And um, first, I'm going to do the wrong way, and then I'm going to show you the right way to do it. First, the wrong way would be to calculate the garden tools in quarter one of uh, 2015 and multiply that with the budget increase and then of course add this year's data again. This works fine for that number, but that means that I can't fill it down. You'll notice that I get some values there, but notice what happens in the calculations here. I'm calculating with J2 in this case, which is an empty cell. So I'm not getting the budget increase. And of course, when I enter the number here, so let's say I have a 50% increase, these numbers don't change. So what I need to do instead, I'm just gonna undo these things that I made. Instead of using J1 there as the reference, I'm gonna use the dollar J, dollar one. It's one way of doing it. And as you see now, that works just beautifully. That's what's called an absolute reference always use that. It's always, as you see, this is using relative references, so it's picking up the cell that's 12 cells above. That works fine, but it's not doing that with the J1. Another way of doing the same thing, I'm gonna undo this again, is to name the cell. I like this one much better, actually. Uh, I'm gonna name the J cell one budget increase, and just press enter there. Very important to remember that. And then I can, instead of messing with this dollar signs there, I can do budget increase and just put that right in my formula. And as you see, it's referencing this J1 cell. So that means that I, can, when I press enter there, I can fill down. And now if I do a 0%, you see that all changes. I get dramatic values if I go up to 100%. Anyhow, put that back something rather reasonable and now of course I can just go ahead and fill this out and now all of these are referencing the same budget increase so if I put that back to 5% you'll notice that all the values change finally I'm just gonna put all this in dollar format I'm gonna copy that format right there and um, put that in there too Let's copy that one too, and then we're good to go. Thank you for watching this demonstration.